Nurses at Central Ohio Primary Care are going the extra mile, literally, to vaccinate one of Columbus's most vulnerable populations, our homebound seniors. While they've been eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine for months, many are still not vaccinated. So these nurses launched a vaccine delivery service. Here's how it works. From COPC, I would like to welcome Sean Amer and Dr. Matt Skomorowski. Thank you both for being with me. Thank you for having us. All right, Sean, let's get right into this topic of vaccine delivery. Why did COPC decide we need to launch a program like this? So since the beginning of vaccine distribution, COPC has um, been working hard to vaccinate as many patients as possible. We've administered over 30,000 doses to COPC patients and the general public. But one of the populations that we were having a difficult time reaching was our homebound patient population. So these are folks who, um, these are patients that oftentimes have um, mobility challenges. They may be elderly or frail or in kind of late stages of illness and just physically cannot leave the home without medical transportation. Um, so we wanted um, to reach these patients and have a way to reach these patients um, because it's still very important that they be vaccinated. Right, they still have contact. They have caregivers, people in and out of the home, right? I mean, they are still at risk. They, they do. So these are patients who um, essentially, um, like we've been in quarantine off and on throughout the last year, these are patients who kind of live in that manner, um, but they rely on family members, neighbors, caregivers who are still very much circulating within the public. Um, who are coming into their home. And so even though they're not out um, at the grocery store or out um, about like you or I might be, they still have the opportunity to both contract COVID or spread COVID unknowingly to, to folks that are in their home. So it's still very important to have them vaccinated. Sean, then let's talk about some of the successes that you've seen thus far with the program. Yeah, so um, it's been really rewarding for our team to go out to vaccinate these patients. Um, these patients are just as excited as you or I might be to go out and to get a vaccine. They feel like they're fighting back. Um, and they also feel much more safe to receive loved ones and to, um, and to have their family visit them. This is a group that um, certainly is um, at risk for higher um, isolation. Um, and so it's really wonderful to be able to um, reduce that anxiety so they can welcome loved ones and family and friends back into their home. And Dr. Skomorowski, I know that COPC has launched other initiatives as well to help these senior patients during the pandemic and make healthcare in general more accessible. So can you share more about these efforts with us? Yes, uh, in addition to the vaccine delivery service for homebound patients, COPC has launched Senior Access. So we, we've noticed that for many seniors, finding a primary care doctor can be a challenge. Seniors sometimes call multiple different practices only to be told that they aren't accepting new patients or if an office is, it may be an inconvenient distance from their home. In collaboration with Agile on Health, we created a, um, an internet site at Senior Access where uh, you could search to help make the search for a primary care doctor simple. Any senior can enter their information on the, on the site and we will contact them within 24 hours to schedule them for a new appointment. So then who is eligible for this program, doctor? Any senior over the age of 60 uh, can access the uh, access the site and enter their information. And what are some of the benefits that I'd imagine that just makes it more streamlined for them, right? It does. Our goal is to increase access to primary care for our most at-risk patients, which are seniors. And we hope that by connecting seniors with a primary care doctor, we can help address medical issues earlier and prevent unnecessary trips to the emergency department. Uh, we, we want to connect Columbus seniors with primary care doctors that they can have a long-term relationship with. And, and like I said, any senior 60 and over can visit the site. It is uh, copcp.com backslash senior access. Yeah, it all starts with finding someone you trust, like you said, building that relationship and having that for the rest of your life, um, hopefully. So again, go to that website, find all the information you need, COPC. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.